guys, Renata Sandor here from MeetAdvisors.com, and I'm joined with Paul Sipple from Paul Sipple & Associates. How are you today? Fantastic. Thanks for coming. No problem. So I kind of want to start off this video segment asking you to tell our audience, you know, who are you, what do you do, what's Paul Sipple & Associates, and we'll go from there. Sure, sure. Well, a little bit of background. I actually started off as an accountant and an auditor, and I quickly discovered I had far much too, too much personality to be an accountant. So after a few years in the accounting area, I transitioned to a career in financial services, and I mainly dealt with estate and succession planning for business owners. But a few years into my career, I had a conversation with a colleague about how I could find tax forms, companies' tax forms online for their 401k plans. Mm -hmm. And I quickly realized how corrupt the whole industry was and decided to make a whole career out of uncovering the fraud, corruption, and conflicts of interest in the 401k plan industry. All right. And when did you start this business? I started this um, almost exactly four years ago, uh, May of 2010. And uh, it's been a lot of fun and definitely had some interesting experiences and challenges throughout the way. So kind of, you bridged me perfectly into that question. Uh, what has been one of your challenges kind of growing your business? Well, probably and fairly similar to what many entrepreneurs would probably say is getting new clients, <laughs> bringing in business. In my situation in this industry, a business owner often looks at the 401k plan as a back burner item. So while there's certainly a lot of value I can add, mm -hmm. not all business owners, because they have so much to do in their lives and running their businesses, it's hard to keep them focused on what I have to tell them. So the biggest challenge is getting business mm -hmm. and getting people's attention and getting them to focus and concentrate. And kind of staying within that industry, what do you see, uh, because you do work with small businesses, mm -hmm. so what do you see the small businesses' uh, challenges that they have, specifically? Uh, regulation and compliance. Okay. Uh, those are huge, huge issues. Um, government regulations for small businesses are incredibly cumbersome. And unlike large corporations, small businesses don't necessarily have the legal and accounting resources to deal with these regulations as efficiently as large companies do. And not many people really appreciate, while these rules are purported to help people, just how much of a burden this places on small businesses and how much pressure that is. So that would be one of the biggest issues that I believe that small businesses face. And how do you kind of guide them through uh, some of these issues? Well, um, at least in terms of what I what I do, I try to explain to them how to limit their liability mm -hmm. um, because exposure liability is huge for a small business and help them uh, realize that they don't have to do everything themselves. A lot of small businesses mm -hmm. are very busy and they don't want to have to um, administer anything themselves. They hire people because they want to be able to forget about it <laughs> and they want to be able to focus on revenue producing activities and that's what I try to help them do. Great. So kind of going, we talked about your challenges, and I kind of want to talk about more of the success and achievement. What do you feel is your biggest achievement so far uh, while since you've grown your business? I would say it's not one single achievement. It's getting over that hump where mm -hmm. I know that I have arrived and I can make it in the industry. Yeah. Um, so many small businesses in any industry fail, usually within the first year. Mm -hmm. And... Given that I've been in business now four years and my business has continued to grow every single year, I would simply say it's the consistent growth that uh, my business has achieved that's been my biggest success and simply <laughs> staying around. Of course. That's a great yes. story. Um, so I would like to ask you, what is one piece of advice that you would give to our community at MeetAdvisors.com? I would say be persistent um, mm -hmm. because I've often had to make not just two or three or four or five phone calls, but 20, 30 phone calls to a small business owner with various conversations uh, mm -hmm. in between before I actually made that prospective client a client. So it's just the idea of not giving up so quickly mm -hmm. and understanding that if you have a good idea, um, continuing to work with it is often the best course of action. Um, persistence is probably the key. And where can people find you? 
Um, my website is uh, paulsipple.com, that's P-A-U-L-S-I-P-P-I-L.com, and I have a blog uh, which is featured on my website, but also a separate address, retirementracket.com. All right, check out Paul's website and check out meetadvisors.com for more videos and blogs. Thanks, guys. Thank you.